Hi, welcome to the Snap It Masterclass with me, Barney, and one of the best photographers in the world, Sir David Loftus. Welcome back to part two of the Pink Lady Snap It Food Photography Masterclass. Today, we're going to be talking about lighting. Very important to make your photos look great. So let's start with... Three top tips. Find your light source. It can be the smallest window, the biggest window. Second tip. Where is that light going to hit your subject? So you play with the subject in front of the light. Then the third tip is what are you going to do with that light? Are you going to reflect more light into it? Are you going to bounce light? Are you going to filter the light? Are you going to create some dapple of light? So today is actually quite a dull day, so there's no direct sunlight. If you had really bright sunlight, one of the nicest things to do is use a plant to create dapple of light. So imagine the sunlight coming through it, hitting, and you create these lovely little dapples. But if I look through it, I can see it creates gentle little shadows. Actually, sometimes it's actually quite nice to get a bit of the, um, bit of the plant soft focus in it as well in the shot. But I'm trying really hard here to focus just on the apple. When I first started being a photographer, I wanted to create, create reflectors. So I didn't know you could actually buy reflectors, but I found that by sticking some tin foil onto a piece of card, you can actually create a really lovely reflector of light. So my light source is over here and it's bouncing off the reflector and then shimmering on the apple. And Barney, can you actually yeah. hold this for me, please? I absolutely can, of course. Where would you like me to hold it? It's also very handy to rope someone in um, as an assistant. So if you fiddle around with it, you'll see yeah. it creates different reflections. So do you want it completely lit on one side and maybe play I, around with it? I mean, I'm going to show you my preference is actually the other side, which is a black surface because I like to have a bit of shadow and so it focuses the light on the left hand side. Yeah, great idea. But you can see the difference there. So if you hold that there mm -hmm. and I take a shot of it, okay, and then you turn it round and you see the black side of it. So if we take a look at these apples side by side, you can see the one on the left has lots of light on the right, but the one on the right has no light on the right, but it still looks all right. So that's all you really need to know about lighting. Use a bit of daylight, a bit of reflector, a bit of diffuser, a bit of dapple, a bit of polystyrene from the rubbish. All these can help you be a professional. 